First of all, I would like to congratulate the Indus Foundation for conducting this event and making it a grand success. You know, conducting the event is too much burden, lot of efforts required and lot of investment is required. I hope they are successful in this. I know the pain of organizing the conferences because Omics also conducts around 100 conferences per year across the world. Coming to the conferences business, conferences has a business market of around $300 billion across the world. In Indian rupees, it is around 1,80,000 crores. Thus, that much huge scope is there for conferences, conventions, and expos. Coming to the Indian market, India has a market of around 6,000 crores. Hyderabad is the capital of conferences because here we will get the uh, rentals somewhat cheap compared to the other metropolitan cities in India. And another beauty of Hyderabad is the reachability. We can reach to Hyderabad within one or two hours from any parts of India. So that is the beauty of the Hyderabad. Of course, we have few disadvantages to conduct in Hyderabad. The main disadvantage is the tax. Literally, we are paying around 40% taxes from the total revenue we are generating. The taxes, VAT, there are so many are there. So, I request the government of Telangana to reconsider these taxes and attract more number of co conferences. And some of the developed nations, including some of the European countries and United States, they are giving some tax benefits or some incentives to the organizers to conduct more number of conferences and to attract more business. As you know, conferences are the main initiatives to bring more investments, more business towards the tourism, and it will be useful to the promotion of the city, state, and nation. Once again, I congratulate the Indus Foundation for conducting this event and giving me this opportunity. Thank you, thank you, one and all. I hope all of you are going to enjoy the stay at Hyderabad and fruitful deliberations at Indo-Global Healthcare Summit. Thank you.